Agriculture is the base of this community, regardless of what you all think. It is. It is the cornerstone of this, this community. And I'm saying to you all that there are a lot of opportunities in ag, and it's just not the cow plow type thing. Agriculture is everywhere, in our food, in our livelihood and in our everyday lives. And I feel like if we just sit down students and take them outside and get their hands dirty, I feel like they would come about and, and get a warm heart towards agriculture. That everybody needs a farmer at least three times a day. We have to feed a growing world and a growing population. And how do we make sure that we use every acre wisely? Well, if you look at agriculture, it's the first science. There is no biology, chemistry, there's no need for all that without the invention of agriculture. Humans, you know, we developed our societies, cities, basically these things, you know, beyond our imagination because what? Agriculture started it all. We were able to settle, we were able to be in one place at once, we were able to have animals, we were able to have families that got bigger and bigger. So, you know, agriculture just kind of holds everything together. By majoring in agriculture, uh, it's such a broad field that you can, you can major in that area, agricultural, natural resource management, animal science, crop science, soil science, or what have you, agribusiness, on and on and on. The study of horticulture involves trees, lawns, fruits, nuts, vegetables, flowering plants, landscape plants, edible plants, medicinal herbs. So it's a very, very wide range of study. Um, and in horticulture, the individual plant is important, unlike a field of wheat where one plant is important. Um, so with horticulture, it's a very user-friendly way to get into agriculture. You don't have to have a background in it because it's very easy to learn whatever you need to know. Um, especially here at our horticulture extension and research facility, we have perfect hands-on learning opportunities for students to get that experience that they need for the job market. I wanted to focus on innovation. So I had a teacher a long time ago who told me that our goal as a scientist is to search into the unknown, right? So there's this bubble that is known and there's bubble outside of that that is the unknown. And it's our job to go explore into that. And I feel that the School of Agriculture is the school that I can do that the most in. Agriculture is considered to be uh, only production agriculture. But now agriculture actually touches all aspects of our lives and involves um, all levels um, and all varieties of uh, technology. It's a school that gives me the freedom to explore the possibilities of the impossible. You might go out to the corporate world, you might go here and everything, but you really need to look at the opportunities that are basically there in the United States Department of Agriculture. It is the second largest employer in, in, in the United States. And there are so many opportunities for uh, uh, them, even with the career that you chose. Um, but not many people know that I never graduated high school. Um, I never planned on going to college, and I certainly never intended on working for the federal government. But these things end up being some of the greatest things, that, best decisions I could ever make in my life, because it's, it's opened me up to more opportunities that I wouldn't have had access to otherwise. So when I hit the campus out here, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and they were, they were like, it was almost like they were waiting on me, you know, when I got here. There was no missed opportunity. I was able to actually start my federal career at that time, and so because of that, I now have over 22 years of service of working for the agency. Top priority, what can we do to address and tackle uh, climate change? And so my job as a district conservationist is, is to lead some of those efforts to make sure we're uh, utilizing our USDA programs to uh, put conservation on the ground that will address mitigating some of the challenges that we have when it comes to climate change. Climate is our current dust bowl. Over the next few years, we're gonna be hiring a lot of folks to come in to work with NRCS to help with this challenge that we have right now. Agriculture has like, a, it's, it has a role in, in the problem and it has a role in the solution. What is the problem now? We need to ensure that food security. So we have to ensure that people has access to uh, healthy, nutritious food and affordable. And um, we need to improve that.
I personally believe that food is a right, it's not a privilege. Um, I, I really want to make sure that uh, people have good, nutritious food and food that impacts them, food that, you know, speaks to their culture. And again, it's a right, it's not a privilege of, you know, the rich, it's not a privilege of the people who have access, it's not the privilege of the people who speak a certain way, it's for everybody. I've always been passionate about agriculture because I saw it not only about farming, but I saw it more expansive of uh, working in rural communities. I saw my role as wanting to help those people with limited resources, they do not often have very much, uh, to help them to improve uh, their economic uh, well-being and improve their economic conditions. We do lots of internships through NRCS, USDA, some of the more Urban kids sometimes aren't as, aren't as interested in working in, in rural America. And, and I even told a young lady once, there was a student trainee, I said, the purpose of an internship is to find out if we like you and find out if you like us. With the opportunities out there, you could find some kind of career that could fit whatever it is you're looking for in life, I believe. Regenerative agriculture has become uh, a buzzword. Uh, we know that uh, large commercial farmers may not focus on it because uh, they are, uh, you know, they may not uh, see the, how it can be scaled. Uh, but um, for limited resource farmers with limited resources that are producing uh, niche crops for, uh, for niche markets, regenerative agriculture uh, is one way by which limited resource farmers can actually increase uh, their income, especially if they have uh, limited land space. Agriculture is a business. It is a business that requires that if you wanted to be a lawyer, you could go in the ag. If you wanted to be a veterinarian, go in the ag. If you wanted to be business, you could still go in the ag. Uh, natural resource management, you can go in the ag. Soils, conservation, uh, it's just a numerous amount of things that make up this thing they call agriculture. You know, in agriculture to be is united with that same common purpose so that we don't have to depend on any other group of people to provide our basic necessities of life. Because essentially what we own and control as a people will uh, ultimately determine our future. Somebody that um, has never thought about agriculture uh, before uh, would have an extraordinary opportunity to make a, uh, an excellent career uh, out of the field of agriculture. There are uh, many professional positions all across the country and also international. And so uh, we uh, always seek to um, inform uh, young students entering uh, the university and enter in the field of agriculture that the career opportunities are numerous. Uh, there are various agencies in the U.S. Department of Agriculture that are hiring students um, for lucrative uh, careers. Um, and not only that, but there are many uh, agribusiness companies uh, that are hiring students as well uh, for, uh, that have graduated uh, from agriculture programs. And so uh, the opportunities are numerous. Agriculture needs you. We need fresh young minds to come in and help us. You know, the School of Agriculture lets you kind of innovate and lets your wings fly more um, than I think anywhere else. That's why I chose the School of Agriculture. <laughs>